stop wasting your life. Do you know how many people come to the end of their lives wishing they could go back and do it all over? Don't be one of them. There's an old saying that says, if you made your bed, you must lie in it. Most people complain about their lives, not realizing that they themselves are responsible for it. You have to understand that the decisions you make today will determine who you are tomorrow and what you will accomplish in life. But when people are full of pride, selfishness, they say stupid things like, oh, it's fine. Let me be lazy just today. Let me do nothing. Let me stay in my comfort zone a little longer. Let me just expect to get everything for free. Let me just waste my life. No, it is time to examine yourself. It is time for self-awareness to ask yourself the right kind of questions like, what is your purpose here on earth? Why are you here? Where does your soul come from and where will it go when you die? Are you wasting time on things that won't even matter in the long run? Are you a man of integrity, a stand-up guy, a man of honor? Do people respect you? Do you keep your word? Where are you going to be in 10 years from now if you keep living the way you do? And how do other people see you? Do you ask yourself these types of questions? If not, why not? These questions are part of self-awareness. And if you don't know yourself, you got a problem because then you will never change. Most people waste their lives because of comfort. They get stuck in life because of the comfort zones. Comfort is the enemy of growth. And that is why you need to get out of your comfort zone. It is not comfortable to wake up early in the morning and go to gym when you are tired. It is not comfortable to work over hours to get that promotion. It is not comfortable taking care of other people while you might need the most care. It is not comfortable doing what must be done even if you don't feel like it. It is not comfortable to get outside of your comfort zone. But that is the only place where true growth will take place. So it's not always going to be easy. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be comfortable to grow physically, mentally, spiritually. But that is the only way to have a purpose-driven life. Don't fear the uncomfortable. Fear the comfortable because it is there where you get stuck in life and where you have no purpose. Too many people in the world are wasting their lives. Some of you are wasting your lives. You might be breathing, but you might not be really living life. Did you know that there are 150,000 people who are dying each and every day? Death is certain. Your date, uncertain. Just look at how quickly the war broke out in Ukraine. Thousands of people dying and even more fleeing for their lives and leaving so much uncertainty across the globe. It is time that you change the way you look at life. Do you take your life for granted? Do you take your family for granted? Do you take your safe home for granted? Are you just a sheep following sheep human being? Or are you actually standing up for what is right in this world? Or are you part of the problem? Are you standing against the evil that is in the world and those who want to implement evil, not caring about the lives they destroy? Listen to me today, especially if you're still young. You need to ask yourself these types of questions. And you need to ask the right kind of questions to those who want to mislead you, those who want to control you, and just who want you to blindly believe whatever they are saying, like the mass media. You need to make decisions for yourself because this is your life. And you need to make a decision. Do you want to live in truth or in a made-up world controlled by power-hungry people? A meaningful life can only be found in truth because it is only the truth that can set people free, that can give you real freedom. But how can you do it if you don't know the truth of life? A lot of people wrongly believe that they can find the answers within themselves. 
You are just one small little puzzle piece and you cannot see the full puzzle by just looking at yourself. You need to look at all the puzzle pieces outside of yourself. But then you also need to look at the creator of the puzzle piece to understand the purpose and future of the puzzle that we call life. A wise old woman once said, if you look at the world, you'll be distressed. If you look within, you'll be depressed. But if you look at God, you'll be at rest. You know, let's be brutally honest. Most of us, most of you who are watching this video won't even reach 60 years. And what would you have achieved by then? I hope for you a lot, not in self gain, but in bringing value to other people. Because what is the point if you gain the whole world and then you just die and you lose your soul? You are not taking anything with you when you die. You came naked into this world just for a time, a blink of an eye, and you will go out of it naked. You see, this world is not our home. It's just a temporary place. We're not going to be here soon. All of us are passing through. Just look at all the generations who lived before us. Last time I checked, they are still dead. But have you ever asked yourself, where did their souls go and where will you go when your earthly body dies? You know, my oldest brother, he died in his early 20s. He didn't expect it. The same happened to my other brother, Etienne. He didn't expect it either. And the same might happen to you. When you look at yourself in the mirror, do you believe you are just a mix of random chemicals that just happen to mix together by chance? Meaning you have no purpose, no meaning. Or do you believe there must be a God that created everything? I believe in God 100% because I experience Him every single day. There are many reasons for this that I explained in my other video. I also experienced demons when I was little. Yes, the spiritual realm is real. You can watch my testimony on my other channel. The spiritual world around you is real and God Himself is spirit. He is not in some statue made by human beings. He is much, much more than that. He created everything and He sustains everything. Is it not strange that when we humans, when we talk about these deep truths, these serious truths, then something inside of you stirs. You might even feel a little bit uncomfortable. Do you know why? Because that is what your inner being truly searches for. True spiritual life that can only be found in God Himself. The most famous book, thousands of years old, says in Acts 17 verse 24, the God who made the world, being Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by man, nor is He served by human hands as though He needed anything, since He Himself gives to all mankind life and breath and everything. And He made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of their dwelling place, that they should seek God and perhaps feel their way toward Him and find Him. Yet, He is actually not far from each one of us. For in Him we live and move and have our being. As even some of your own poets have said, for we are indeed His offspring. You might say, Daniel, I don't care about religion. Well, that's good. I'm not talking about religion here. We, human beings, we make religions up. I'm talking about the truth of life and God Himself, who is a God of love, who is spirit who is the truth and you can only have a true relationship with Him in spirit and in truth. I'm not talking about religion. And you know, when I talk about don't waste your life, most people think that I'm talking about just this temporary world. No! This world and the things of this world, it is passing away. And so are we. But the decisions that you make in this temporary world will determine where you will go next. This life is one big test. It is your test and you need to make a decision. Do you want to know the truth? Do you want purpose? Real peace? 
true spiritual life? The answers are all found in the Creator Himself, who is waiting for you to reach out to Him. I want you to understand my heart here. I'm being open, transparent. I'm saying these things because I actually really do care about you. And if you want to have purpose, if you want to know the truth, if you want to know if God exists, then please watch these videos here from my other channel and I'll see you there. And before you go, always remember, life is short, so don't waste yours.